Houston. I am the East Region Retail Executive and Executive Vice President for BBVA Campus. Rosalind, it's such a pleasure to meet you. I'm Ginger Pegues, and I'm the Development Manager with Susan G. Cohen in North Central Alabama. Ginger, it is a pleasure to meet you, and it's so great to be here with you today. And I look forward to getting to know all that you're doing in this great community with Susan G. Cohen. Well, thank you, and I enjoy um, being here and look forward to hearing about you. Tell me a little bit about what you do with BBVA. Well, at BBVA Compass, I serve as the East Region Retail Executive, and I manage the Alabama and Florida Retail Branch Network. It's about 133 branches between Florida and Alabama that I'm responsible for. And in the branches, as you're probably a customer, um, you know that it is the forefront of the customer relationship. It's where our relationships with our customers are made. And we focus on customer experience to retain those customers for a very, very long time. Absolutely, that's fantastic. And I only hear wonderful things about BBVA Compass. A great, great organization. I've been with BBVA Compass for almost 14 years now. And the most incredible thing about being there is it's a bank that's all about a passion for people and at the heart of who I am is a passion for people and just as yourself with what you're doing with Susan G. Komen as the community uh, development officer um, you obviously have a passion for people too so tell me a little bit about what you do there I do I have a really great passion being the development manager I actually started my passion with Komen back when I was in college as an intern I started working with one of the board members here in Birmingham, and she took me to her meeting with Komen, and the rest is history. So I've been a volunteer for over 15 years, then I served on their board of directors as the communications chair, and now I'm full-time as a staff member. And so I enjoy working with our donors, our corporate um, partners here in town. We support 38 counties. Wow. So it's really exciting to see all the money that we help raise with events like our signature um, Race for the Cure. Yeah. Put it on your calendar. It's October 11th at Inland Park. I hope you can come again. I've got it locked in, and actually, that's my middle child's birthday, so I won't forget. We can have an <laughs> extra celebration. Well, good. <laughs> well, bring them in, bring them home from college. What a great opportunity. And I have to tell you, Ginger, that um, I had an opportunity to walk with you all last year. Um, as you know, I'm almost three years here in Birmingham, and I invited my sisters from out of state to come to the city, and a part of our sister weekend was participating as donors and as supporters of the Susan G. Komen Walk, and it was an amazing experience. So just um, so heartwarming what you are doing to help with education, um, awareness, and research for, for women's health. Well, thank you. And people like you and your sisters who are supporting Komen coming to Birmingham from all over. They're coming in, having a wonderful day, celebrating our survivors, celebrating our family, our friends. That's what it's all about. And the money that we raise, thank you, the money that we raise, we are able to pour that back into our local communities right here. As you mentioned, for breast health screening, treatment, and education. So it's wonderful to be able to do that. And so we thank you. Absolutely, it's certainly our pleasure. And I know, um, as you, there, there's so many things that um, we're so passionate about. And, um, you know, I was asked recently um, if I had the superpowers, what would they be? And it would be the hill. It really would be. There's so many things going on in this world and so many um, ailments that are attacking us. And um, the, the cause that you guys are doing is phenomenal. And, um, you know, with us being a financial partner, Providing ways for donors to have those extra funds to make a difference is huge. So there's a connection there. Absolutely. As you guys are working on educating about health and and also early detection, and um, you know we're on the financial side of things, trying to show customers how to make more money, save more money, leave a legacy, create wealth, so that we as corporate citizens would have the means to help further so many causes that are so important you know, for our survival. Absolutely, I think that um, Birmingham's really lucky to have these two great organizations right so here <laughs> um, supporting the efforts here in, in so many ways. Absolutely, I think so too. Well, tell me a little bit about your story here in Birmingham. Are you a native? I actually went to school at the University of Alabama, just right down the road in Tuscaloosa, and um, made my way back and 
definitely call Birmingham home. My husband and I met here, and then we have a, a young um, child that's two and a half, and Aww. we do love this community. It is a great community, and I'm so fortunate to be here. I would not be here if it wasn't for BBVA Compass, and I was actually promoted here uh, from our California market, um, like I said, nearly three, three years ago. And I tell you, the philanthropy here in Birmingham and the heart for people is amazing. Absolutely. Like, born and raised in Southern California, I lived in Dallas for a while, and all great cities, you know, in their own right, but it's something about Birmingham that truly is magic. <laughs> you know, as an outsider coming in, I could say, I, I'm experiencing the magic of the city. Absolutely, and as you mentioned, the philanthropy is so strong here, and the, the time, the energy, the efforts that people give at Komen, we have over a thousand volunteers every year that come in and support us and help us. And it really is about putting care into action. And it's whether it's someone coming to the, the local office to teach our, a yoga class for survivors or co-survivors, or it's someone to give up their time to stuff packets for their race. Mm -hmm. We are so fortunate to have people who are willing to give not only their time, but their um, yeah, I think that's huge, and we want to be a part of that. You know, again, always looking for ways to show people how they can use their financial resources, not only to guarantee a better success for their families, but how can we impact our communities in which we all live, work, and play. I think that's that's huge. It is, absolutely. Well, good. Well, tell me, what does is, what is the, the next several months hold for you? Well, every day is an adventure. <laughs> I can tell you that for sure, uh, but really for the next couple of months, we're really focusing um, from a corporate standpoint at work on, you know, sustaining our relationships with our amazing customers. We have incredible customers, and we are trying to tell our story of what type of organization that we are. And it's simple. We build a better future for people, and the folks that work for BBVA Compass are just as passionate about our communities. And every single day, we wake up and we go to bed thinking about, you know, did I do the best that I could to ensure that I helped someone make a positive impact in their, in their life and changing or sustaining their financial story? So I mean, that's what's important to us from a corporate standpoint. And from a personal standpoint, I've got three beautiful children, so they always keep me very busy. Two adult kids. Um, my oldest daughter is... Um, very passionate. She's actually working on an MD, PhD in cancer biology. So she has a direct correlation to help, um, you know, find out about cancer, help research it, and mm -hmm. most importantly, find a cure. Absolutely. That is her, her life's mission. And my middle son's playing basketball away at school, and I have a young son at home. So I'm past the baby stage, but um, I still have one at home, my husband and I. Um, you know, going on three years here, we're all enjoying this wonderful city. So we're still exploring and discovering so many amazing nooks and crannies about Birmingham. And there's so many. <laughs> there really are. <laughs> I mean, yeah. so who knew, you know, that all these wonderful people live here and there's so many magical things to do in the city. And so I call it my boutique city. I love it. I love that. <laughs> but it's, but it's private. It's only reserved for those that are here. Right. <laughs> we are, we are growing and we're really bursting here in Birmingham. And it's great to be here to be a part of, of that. Absolutely. That grow. Oh, absolutely. Well, looking forward to the next couple of months with Komen, we just finished a fantastic event a couple weeks ago with the Birmingham Originals. We had a Chefs for the Cure. So we got to taste some fantastic food at a great silent auction, whatnot, and raise some really much needed funds yes. that we're pouring right back into the local community for our education, screening and treatment. We also just awarded over $400,000 in community grants this year. There's some wonderful programs right here that we're so happy to support. And then we're working on the Race for the Cure, as we just talked about a yes. little while ago. So although it's not until October, we're trying to get people to go ahead and register and go ahead and start fundraising. Absolutely. And that way we can get the word out and Everyone's really excited about it. We also are working with our different counties. As I mentioned, we've got 38 counties that we support. So we've got some really great programs and services that we're working on. And we're just delighted with our volunteer base. Again, and not just here in our 205 area yes. code, 
they are everywhere and we're just so thankful we really could not do the work that we do right here in Alabama without those volunteers. Absolutely. You mentioned volunteers and um, how important that is. So to be an organization that could absolutely, um, you know, tap into those folks that want to make a difference. Yes. And I just wanted to mention at BBVA Compass, um, yes, we're all about, you know, financial uh, wellness and wholeness, but a big part of our organization focuses on volunteerism. And so within every one of our communities, you'll see BBVA Compass employees out there looking proactively to make a difference and to plug in. And again, that's one of the great things that I love about working for my organization um, because we do a phenomenal job in terms of protecting um, folks' financial future, but also making a tangible difference inside our communities with you know, feet on the ground yes. you know, yes. and putting our hands at work. I mean, that's huge for me. I mentioned Absolutely. earlier, like the core of who I am, you know, it's like that passion for people and to be able to blend that oh, and then being able to work amongst other employees and have that same passion, it's huge. It you really know, is. Is. So, so you guys can start just saying your goodbye kind of things. Just okay. saying, just say, and, and then the, we'll just kind of wrap it up because we've got a lot of good stuff. All right, great. Well, gosh, I definitely want to uh, continue this conversation. Um, what you're doing is phenomenal, um, and I just wish you all the best for continued success. I will definitely be at that walk on October 11th. <laughs> Rosalyn, it was a pleasure meeting you and talking with you. I can't wait for us to go to lunch at one of our fantastic restaurants here in Birmingham and continue this conversation and also see how we can um, join forces in some things in the future. Sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm.